this is a Christmas special for uh, Virgo. This is the anniversary of my first video I ever did on my channel. It happened in 2019. Still had a lot of fun on that one. So, in this video, we have my tip and granuity bar down below. It's a link for whatever you want to give to the channel, you can. And then I'll bless you with something that's either an abundance blessing or a prosperity a uh, blessing so that you can get uh, through 2022 because I know a couple people are kind of worried about that and stuff like um, well, how are they going to eat, how are they going to survive, stuff like that. So hopefully I can help you out with that. Usually my prosperity and abundance healing and blessings help a lot of people out so hopefully I can help you out. Anyway, um... I do have a reading for you, and I will also roll the dice to see what you may be getting for um, a holiday gift, either Christmas, Kwanzaa, Ramadan, or Hanukkah. Uh, hopefully, it's a good one, you know. Um, but anyway, let's see. We have the first card, which is um, part of the your relationship with food spread. I did this as a parody a couple years ago and I really enjoyed it. So we're doing it again here, which should be a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, your current relationship with food is going to be the two of pentacles in reverse. So uh, literal talent bills, um, forging excitement, um, any message or a letter. So it might be a little bit hard to pay off everything at the moment, or there might be an invitation or something. You could be uh, going to a party or something, but um, you might have to pay bills first, okay? So, that might be a bit of a thing. You might be just getting by. You might be paycheck to paycheck, or um, kind of trying to squeeze, or, you know, um, scavenge last bit so you can pay off bills but you know, it happens to, to the best of us anyway number two we have how can you improve uh, your relationship with food we have the chariot in reverse so falling short of a goal inability to cope with life defeat regression uh, rebelling against nothing so there's something here that you're rebelling against and it might just be very trivial, but I feel like your uh, food supply might be good, or it might kind of be like you either forget to eat, or you might not be in the mood to eat. You're probably thinking about other things, or you might be working a lot, or you might be doing some other things that kind of take you away from the realm of, oh, I need to eat, or I need to do this, or I need to do that. You're probably more into either snacking or something to that effect, alright, so it's probably not like big meals, it's probably very small meals when you need to. Alright, so number three, we have, how can you eat instinctively? We have the ten of pentacles in reverse, so loss of family security, gambling, a burglary, a squandering of funds, and financial burdens, and uh, relieved. So, there might be a bit of lost funds, either through a medical expense or something to that effect. So, it kind of feels like you're behind the eight ball with a lot of things. Where it's kind of like, I can't pay this, but I can pay this. I can't pay this, but I can pay this. I need to get food so I can survive, so I can go to work. You know, it's like that type of uh, mentality. So... It might be all scattered around at the moment, but there's really no, like, no net to catch you. You know, so it's kind of like you have to forge forward for yourself, you know. It's it's really unavoidable at this point, so you're going to have to try to do the best you can, alright? Anyway, we have number four with how can you fuel your body? We have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is unacquainted love, dangerous and false friends, separation or divorce, incompatible desires, and misunderstandings. 
So, there's, there's something here that's kind of like somebody's nice to you. You take it as it might be the real thing. But it depends of what you're saying. Like, some people are just nice. Some people are only nice to certain people. Some people see potential or they see a motive. So be very careful. Usually with this, um, in this position, with the Two of Cups, you're eating with somebody or you're going on a date with somebody and you're eating food. <laughs> you know, that type of thing. But I feel like this person may have hidden motives um, or they might not be in the mood to be in a relationship or they might have another relationship. Okay, so be careful. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like this person's not really up front with you about what they expect out of, you know, everything. They're probably telling you what you want to hear. But anyway, so that's your problem, not mine. But I would address the issue so then it doesn't become an issue later on. Alright, so you're not blindsided. Anyway, something your body is telling you. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse is, uh, let's see, it's great sadness as a monumental loss of faith, imprisonment by others' actions, a surprise. So there's going to be a bit of surprise with your health or your body or something. And, um, it may make you either eat healthier or eat more emotionally, I would say. So, like I said, some people don't have the best intentions with other people. You know, they see an opportunity and they go for it. Um, and I don't want anybody being taken advantage of because that's not nice and I don't like feeling it myself. But I can feel like it's going to hurt. You know, because I, I feel that. But, um, yeah, I feel like you might want to be in a relationship and you're not really seeing, like, the warning signs or the red flags. So make sure that you see what people's long-term motives are. Do they like you? Do they like your money? Maybe you're better off than most people. Or do they like you because of how you look, you know? Um... A lot of people kind of do that in order to control somebody else also. So there's there's a lot of a lot of assholes. So just be careful. Anyway, we have your channeled message, which is a burning desire to be in a serious love relationship. Maybe you've been single for a while. But make sure that you know what people's motives are. If they seem too good to be true... They are, um, if they're too much, um, wondering where you are and where you're going and stuff like that, and they want to control who you are, that's a red flag. Um, but, you know, be careful, alright? I, I don't feel like everything that glitters is gold. I feel like this might be fool's gold. I feel like this person kind of sees you, your desperation, and wants to fill the void, Make sure they fill their own motives as well. So be careful. Um, some people are just crazy. But anyway, let's get into the rolling of the dice. <laughs> Alright, so... Number 14. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright. Cooking. Somebody's cooking for you. This could be a potential person. Uh, maybe they just cook for everybody. You know? But yeah, there's there's cooking involved, or there's some type of um, gift basket involved, or there's some there's something involved. And this person might cook for a lot of people anyway, so they're kind of fit into their role. And you might take it as there's something more to it, and there might not be. But whatever the case is, um, uh, my grandmother always said, look before you leap. Make sure you have a landing. But, um, yeah. <coughs> be careful. Anyway, uh, Virgo, 
if you would like to give me a tip or something, that link down below for my channel, tips and renewities, that's going to be there for 2022. So most of my videos will have that bar down below. So you can um, give to the channel, get some blessings, get some prosperity, get some abundance going uh, so that you can have a better 2022. Alright, so you can you know, stand on your own two feet, find somebody who has some muchness, and, you know, I, I can have stuff for the channel. <laughs> that would work too. But, um, anyway, Virgo, hopefully everything works out, and I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.